Cancers, welcome to your love, romance, and relationship solstice read, 21st of December, 2021. Capricorn, zero degrees today. So, I've already set this up. It's only a little four-card reading. Try to get a lot from it. This is the bottom of the deck here. Uh, you've got the Knight of Cups coming, and... Um, I gotta think this is a the other reading so far has been kind of internal. This this really involves a person. Uh, and I think there's two people here. So you have probably two water signs, or two people who are emotionally in, interacting with you primarily. Uh, water signs or not, I do think Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs as we go along. Um, one would be a little more mature, and one would be a little less mature, and I believe pronounced, pronouncedly uh, emotionally uh, so, um, not necessarily in terms of age, but immediately if this is your reading, it, there, here you are with these two people, basically, um, on your mind here, um, and you can't really make a decision here i get the feeling like because this one's in the blocking position this is what's blocking you and this is just where you're at in terms of love romance and relationship where your head is at i think it's the younger one that's hanging you up somehow here um the younger water sign or the younger emotional person that's attached to you um is the one that's got you mostly in this energy and this other person's um, being the bottom of the deck, <clears throat> they could just be around you, and maybe uh, you're kind of aware that they're out there. And I would get the sense that this is some kind of romantic interest, you know. Um, but they may not be engaged with you yet. Um, but you might know um, who um, I'm talking about. This is your reading, you know. Uh, just someone around you to be supportive, Mars is action, someone that tends to take action, someone's emotionally supportive, you know, you're there, there person, you know, call, talk to me, boo, what's going on? Um, um, I just get the feeling that would is also a romantic interest, and not necessarily just a, um, you know, a friend, you know, but you may get that too, you know, these energies repeat, it's energies you're bringing up, when you're in this two of swords, when you're doing something, and you're praying, or you're crying, or you're wondering, or thinking, trying to figure it out, and you just can't, you need to do a sword, it's like, I just don't know what to do, just don't know what to do, kind of energy, and then, this is uh, in the position of advice from spirit, I do consider it the most important card in this reading, and this is, couldn't be any stronger, saying it is over, it is over, and I think would this be an outcome, the Two of Cups? Because this is really not that complex of a reading. Um, you're going to have a choice to make here. The who to give your cup to. Um, and that's where I wanted to pull a clarifier here. King of Cups. <laughs> it's going to be this person with the Knight of Cups coming in. Look, I mean... Knight of Cups, bottom of the deck. It always really seems like your person looming out there. I'm not talking about a stalker. I'm just saying it's somebody, you know, they can't come in because you're engaged with this person. Like maybe literally engaged or whatever, right? And so, good job, I say. You know, they are kind of, but you know they're there. They know they're there. You know there's interest. They know there's interest. Probably, it might not have even been said. Um, but that's definitely who this is going to be. With this king of cups here so and i i do see you choosing not only um that but choosing really uh, you could say in general choosing maturity you know and someone who's emotionally you know this page of cups probably wasn't emotionally available could have been you know playing games had stuff to work through uh and everything and that's what had you in this tither you know this, i just don't know what to do i just don't know what to do and the advice from spirit is like Put a stick in it, it's over. You know, put a fork in it, it's over. Be done here mentally, you know. Um, and it looks to me like it just opens you up to sort of walk right into this relationship. You can talk about rebound or whatever. That's the way these things work sometimes. It could be a long, ongoing process here. This may not here just happen overnight, you know. 
he's been going on for years building to this um, but also it could be kind of a you're making a choice here of someone that's more mature it's like you've learned something from the a lot of people say well you don't do any good in this energy no you do and I think you can think yourself out of it you know uh, particularly if you're a mercurial person you know it may just take some time you know uh, we don't necessarily have to use your heart even I hate to say that, you know, because I'm all about using the heart, but some people, you don't necessarily have to. So this could be something ongoing, something you've been kind of working through. And spirits maybe just confirming. You're probably already thinking, like, this is over, this is over. Um, and you certainly have a lot of promise here coming out of this in the future. So it's that classic advice that, you know, walk away from what doesn't serve you to get what serves you. And that, that looks like a kind of promise to you, Cancer, in this solstice reading. So... Thank you, guys. Merry Christmas, if that's appropriate. I uh, hope you at least get some time off, maybe some time with family, if that's allowed now. I don't know. Uh, thank you.